Welcome back to Oakfield Farm 19 for episode 2 of this mini transition series with me, Mr. Sealy P. The rain, it continues. Uh, the harvester I brought back, I am going to just do a bit of work on it because I think... Oh, no. That's weird. I thought it would have needed work. Oh, no, that's right. I bought it in here because it had twins on, didn't it? I put wides on it rather than the twins because it was a bit difficult getting down the roads with the twins on that. Uh, right, I'm not going to start the seeding yet. I can't really do that while the uh, rain's hammering down. Somebody did message to say that you wouldn't normally use twins in the UK because the width of roads and stuff. And if you do, you would need an escort and stuff like that. That's fair enough. Uh, I've only got to go down onto the main road and literally then straight into the field to start the seeding, so we'll do it later. What I'm going to do, um, I've been asked if I can sort out the pigs. So, we're going to grab, I think we're going to try, we're going to take this down with us just in case. This is one of those unusual moments where I think ahead of myself. Uh, because I thought I'll go down there, sort the pigs out, there's a telehandler down there, I'll, be, I'll fill up from the silo that's down at Oak Glen Farm. And then I suddenly thought, yeah, but what if the bucket won't work from the, from the actual silo? So for once, I'm actually going to uh, think ahead and take this down. So if it doesn't work from the bucket, I can uh, use this. Still not showing the sun bit next to the rain at the top, so I'm not quite sure when the rain's going to stop. But we can certainly sort the pigs out. They love sloshing around in the mud. No video from me yesterday. I usually say this, it depends if you're watching this Let's Play one after the other. Uh, you might be watching this six months down the line, in which case you'll have noticed no change, there'll be no gap. But if you've been watching bits I've been doing episode by episode, there's been a bit of a gap due to trips and various different things and mods coming out. And Yesterday I sat down to record, got up nice and early. My next door neighbour's house has been empty for a while. And uh, I heard the front door go. I thought, oh, there's something in the house next door. And then the builders started drilling and banging and sawing all day. All day. I couldn't record a thing. The noise was ridiculous. The dog kept barking every time one of the builders came out of the house to go to the van. So, yeah, it wasn't great. But what can you do? Here's what it is. Right, we're in here. So like I say, I'm going to try with the, the telly hand on the bucket. I'm never too sure. Some of the silos it will work, some of the buckets it will work, but not all of them. I think they're going to need water, they need the feed area cleaning out, and they need pretty much everything. I think they need straw. So yeah, we'll do what we can. And that's what we're here for. Right, let's start with this. Bucket is down. Um, cleed the feed. Cleed? We'll cleed the feed area. Clean the feed area first. Now this, like I said at the start, this mini Let's Play, this was where we moved from Marwell over to here just to help out. This is, we're just a farm helper. Um, this may only end up being a couple of episodes, this one and the last one. Could have been three, four, um, we'll see, because we are waiting for visas, etc., to move to our next map. Something a bit different for me. It's going to be interesting. Oh, that's interesting as well. The manure comes automatically and gets put into here, but we've got a bit of bleeding through the wall, look. Ooh. Watch for that. I've come the wrong way, haven't I? Of course I have. 
Let's tip that up. Mind you, putting straw, grain, anything into this in the pouring rain is probably not the best idea. That's if it even works. So I don't know if it will. That's why I thought I'd bring the truck. And it doesn't look like it will. Like I say, some of them work, some of them don't. It doesn't look like it's going to OK, right. That's a bit. That's a pity, never mind. Uh, I can't remember where the water point is here. Because there are the only water. Right, better that. Let's hop in this then. I don't think we're going to need too much straw, are we? Shouldn't do. Why is that not working either? Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, you muppet. Right, okay, I'll do one of the others then. <laughs> Just suddenly realised. Oh, ignore me. Right, uh, let's go with wheat. Is that all we had in there? The gilky. <sighs> After all that, I drove past the wheat. I've got it stored loose. Potatoes are there. Okay, how are we looking, pigs? So, wheat and barley, that didn't even touch the sides. Okay, so I'm going to need barley. Right, corn, barley. Way more needed, okay. Let's fill this up. It only takes 13,000 litres or something, doesn't it? Go. Right, let's fill up with barley. Better. Much better. swallowing it up but it's in the green anyway I'm worried about that right, let's let's do the odds and ends I think let's get some straw I'm just having just remembered where it was because it's not one of the uh, store anything silos is it let's back it up Hoping, of course, it will take it loose. If it doesn't, I can always put it into the back of the truck and then unload it from there, but... Fingers crossed. Wow. I thought there was more in it than that. Not as much as I thought. Go right. Check on that. Let's 
it's in the green but I think we'll do one more load of that actually what we'll do let's do some I think it's potatoes that old past wasn't it could be sugar beet could be potatoes let's have a look potatoes I haven't really done pigs on FS19. And what's interesting is that I always used to say, yeah, potatoes and sugar wheat was only 5% required. But those ratios seem well off to me. If only 5% of their feed is supposed to be potatoes, then surely if corn is sitting at 83,000, and obviously that needs to go up a little bit further, the wheat and barley is on 90,000, surely potatoes should only be 5% of all of that. So that shouldn't be 81,000 litres, surely. That's not 5%, is it? If you add up all those totals, the percentages are well off. Oh well. Pigs don't care about percentages, they just want to be fed. Oh, bit of thunder. Bit of thunder rolling. Right, that's a bit better. That's in the green too. Soybean, canola, sunflowers and corn. Okay. So what should I put oh, water as well. Let's throw this side out of the way. Can't pick water up in this. Can in this though. Where's the water point? I think it's down here, isn't it? Or is that fertilizer? Should be here. Okay, we're full. I'm feeling old today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling old. Uh, my daughter, in a few days' time, my youngest daughter, turned 16. She finished her first lot of exams and was off to her prom last night. Prom. I mean, I know we use that term in the UK now. It's more of an American term, prom, I think. But we've kind of taken it and uh, always used to be 
like end of year disco or whatever you want to call it but it's a prom now apparently so um yeah she was off to that my youngest of five children and i feel really old because she was always my she was always the little one and not anymore so yeah weird times but good times she looked amazing and she seemed very happy so that's all you can ask for let's fill that up seems to be taking a while isn't it? so water how are we looking that's full okay right so what I will do I think if we leave this like it was before kind of over in that corner out of the way and if we need water we can just put a little bit more in as they need it sit the tracks next to it so last couple of things and the pigs will be done then it might well be back up to the farm for a cup of tea and wait for the rain to stop I'm thinking not ideal oh I know what I can do just suddenly remembered yes I've got a plan and it's a good one well in my head it is isn't it? so we're going to go with canola take all of it again yeah that's not right is it well I'm going to finish off filling up the last two then I have a plan the chickens probably need to clean out again and might need some feed so I might do that but I will see you in a moment that's the best bet, otherwise you'll sort to be going backwards and forwards with loads of canola and then corn. I am on my way to the store. Um, I'm going to pick up some pallet forks for the front and something else. This is a mod that I didn't do a review on. I was away when this mod dropped. I haven't even looked at it. So I'm not entirely sure how it works. It should be fairly straightforward. Um, I've changed the telehandler steering to front wheel steering only because I'm pretty sure as well I read somewhere that on the UK road you, you're you not allowed to drive a telehandler in all wheel steer mode pretty sure I read that somewhere or I could have dreamt it one of the two so we want I'm sure most of you guys have used these already I think had I done a review on this when it came out had I been in the UK when this came out I would have put game changer on my mod review so you probably know what it's going to be but anyway uh we're going to go for under pallets no uh, that's weird have i not got it oh that's odd 
Hang on. Right, let's try that again. There we go. The egg palette. Haven't used this yet. So, let's see. A whole thousand. Excellent. We'll get that. And we also need pallet forks. So, telehandler. Oh, does this have the... No, it doesn't. Okay. Not a problem. Buy a pair of those. So, right. Now, like I say, because I haven't, I haven't even looked at it really. Knew it came out. Knew it looked cool. But on the pinky, I haven't got chickens yet. So I thought, well, we'll see if we do get them. Uh, so I don't know if when I take this over this will fill up the boxes that they're automatically but I know it does say that when you uh, put it down in the egg box area it will then fill up automatically so let's say I'm not sure if it will tackle the ones that are already there or whether I'm going to have to... What is this pallet though? I don't like all the pallet forks that you get in game. Some of them are a bit... Temperamental is probably the word I would use. That's better. Right. Let's turn that back. I think what we'll do is we'll put a beacon on. Let's head back, right. Let's see what happens. That's weird. Why has that gone back to all wheel steering? Better. That's odd. Don't want to get stopped by the old bill, do we? You know what those traffic cops are like. Oh no, so it doesn't do anything necessary for the ones you've got already. Oh, I thought they'd like automatically load in or something. No. Oh. Maybe there is a way. Let me have a bit of a fiddle around and see what we end up with. Oops, right, just broke all those. Right, well, it would appear then that that just... Well, now that's placed, any future egg boxes will fill up in there. You can't put the ones you've already got into it. So those will have to get rid of 
separately but that's not a problem what I will do is leave the pallet forks here because that's what they're going to be used for uh, what I can do at some point is come back with the bucket I think I did it on Mercury Farms I loaded the egg boxes into the front bucket and did it from there but don't need to do that now what we're going to do is head back to the farm then well at least that means then I've kind of done my favour that that'll be far easier for transporting them after that let's go back grab a cup of tea wait for the rain to stop and then let's get some seeding done this up next to the lorry fantastic right let's head back enjoy the lovely seasonal weather it's the following day the sun's out the rain finally stopped somewhere around midnight-ish I think We've still got a few dark areas in the shade, but that's not too bad. Let's go over to the field. It's the big one, field 15, and we are putting in... What have I got to do? Canola is what we're putting in the ground. The harvester will be moving up to field... It used to be 12, was it? 12 or 13? Let's check on the map. Uh, no, is it 12 or 13? And field 2 here yeah, has got wheat in it. And as you probably already know, because we did it a little while ago... Uh, the pigs need more straw they haven't got enough bedding left so what we'll do is when the harvester gets going on that we'll leave the straw swath behind and then we'll do a bit of collection of straw to take down to the pigs whether I'll be on that I don't know whether I'll be on the harvesting part of it I don't know what I've got to do is <laughs> seed field 15 oh good grief this isn't a massive seed right this is going to take some time and you can see why we don't often run twins in the UK, especially on these little lanes. If you look at the width of the twins, we're well over the road. Over the road edges, should I say. So here we are. The ground might still be a little bit boggy, so that's why I just sort of run twins, why not? Um, let's open this up. Beacons can go off. Turn it on. Drop it down. And let's get going. Now, someone did ask me, why did I bother going to all the trouble of cultivating the entire field, which took quite a while when the seed we've got is a direct drill that's a very very good point <laughs> there's nothing I can say it's just <laughs> I wanted to use the big equipment I wanted to use the big boys toys um, and I completely forgot what seed we had so had I have remembered I probably wouldn't have done but it is what it is it's done no need to worry <laughs> Plus the T7 looks kind of good with twins on it, doesn't it? The cows are going to need mucking out again. No doubt once I finish this, which could be sometime tomorrow, uh, um, they're going to probably get me on mucking out again. I get all the choice jobs, all the good ones. Mine is not the reason why... You have to be careful with fields this size, especially when you're using a planter or seed of this size. Um, in that, you can get part way across, and if it flips into the next growth stage, you end up with half the field growing before you've actually finished planting or seeding the rest of it. So, what a lot of people do is they'll turn their um, growth rate to off while they do all the seeding, and then turn it back on again, so you don't get that mishmash part growing and part not. Um, that way when it gets to the end of the cycle you don't get part 
ready to harvest and part not so uh, it's not a bad idea as long as you remember to put it back on again we've all been there we we'll turn it off do the whole seeding and forget to put plant growth back on again and then wonder why two days down the line you've got nothing growing in that particular field or any of the fields for that matter what I might do I've done a strip all the way around maybe let's drop that down yeah why not keep going now you may have noticed a lot of the uh, giant modded tractors I think pretty much all of them had an update yesterday uh, because patch 1.4 uh, they tweaked a lot of the engine sounds so in-game the standard uh, in-game stuff has already been tweaked but obviously their modded stuff that went into the mod hub needed an update to allow for those new sound files and stuff like that so that'll be why all, pretty much all the tractors I think that came from Giants all had an update and hopefully fingers crossed we shall see by the end of today we may have our visa cleared and we may be moving that's what I'm hoping you never know if I recall correctly was it yesterday or today um, I'm pretty sure Lars and Chris said that it was a bank holiday in Germany might have been yesterday so yeah it all depends on the QA guys when they they you know test in various different things and then it's that hit that send button and normally we get the uh, Friday frenzy of mods coming out to clear for the weekend so we'll see this field is going to take some time I mean, to be fair though, realistically, in the UK, fields this sort of size, most farmers don't own, you know, huge hats and bickler, seed hawk type, you know, seeders and planters. This sort of thing, and even smaller, would be pretty normal. So, you know, when guys go out and they plant in seeding, it will take a day or two to do a, you know, massive expanses I'm getting seriously concerned about my PS4 at the moment it's all been cleaned hoovered dust gone, fans cleaned and it keeps doing this thing where it spools up it winds up and it sounds like a rocket taking off and then spools back down again so I'm hoping nothing's on the way out because if it is that could cause me some serious serious problems but fingers crossed we'll be okay Now, my life at the moment seems to be all over the place. Um, I've gone from being very kind of not much happening, all very, very calm, getting
getting my videos out day after day, getting my mod reviews out day after day, to then the offer to come and commentate on the FSL, that's all going, I mean that's going to be mad. Some of the uh, some of the months I think I'm doing two, yeah, two tournaments in a month, which potentially on a three day trip means those three days I can't do videos and things like that. I'm going to try and bolster that up, but then obviously uh, I mentioned earlier it's my daughter's birthday, she's going to be 16, so we've got a party coming up at the weekend. Myself, my wife and my youngest daughter are going back up to the Lake District next week on Wednesday, I think it is, Wednesday the 26th, so we're going to be actually away on holiday for my daughter's birthday. I'm going to take my PlayStation with me, my wife always suggests it. Um, so I should be able to keep up with hopefully mods if not mods and videos at the same time but it's just crazy I'm, ju I'm just in my head then thinking now what's happening how I'm going to fit everything in but I will do my best you may get your day here and there now and it's not something I wanted for the channel where there might not be a video posted I generally do try and post at least one video a day normally for the weekends, I will normally, Saturday or Sunday, I'll have one of the days off at the weekend. Um, and it was interesting that I posted videos Saturday. And last week there were quite a few, few mods, quite a few maps. I posted, I think, over the space of three days, about seven videos, I think. Um, and then I was away Sunday, Monday, flew back Tuesday, then posted a video Wednesday. So I think it was three days and I had people messaging me asking have I stopped making videos um, it was only three days relax it's okay god you imagine if I went away on holiday for a week and didn't have a playstation I think people would think I was dead we'll see but like I say I'm going to try and keep a schedule what, what kind of schedules I do have <laughs> running as normally as I possibly can we'll see how we get on it's just been a bit bonkers the last week so apologies if there haven't been as many videos as you would have liked. So, I'm going to continue. Um, I think we've come to the end of this episode. Uh, I'm not going to do a full episode of me just going up and down seeding. I did say we would get onto seeding, we've done the pigs, we looked at the chickens, moved the pallet. This may not be as long an episode as I think, we'll see. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.